Alright, Yacht Club Game Presents. So we just had a bunch of like Summer Game Fest slash E3 presentations over the weekend. And I thought we were done until the Nintendo Direct, but no, there's one more thing that I just realized like half an hour ago. So Yacht Club Game Presents, if you don't know, Yacht Club Games are the guys who made Shovel Knight. So, in fact, the Shovel Knight music playing right now, so... Maybe we'll get a Shovel Knight related announcement? It is more or less their mascot, so it wouldn't surprise me. I'm expecting to see details on Mina the Hollower. Hopefully we get a release date on that, because it's been a while since that game was announced. Like, that was announced, like, what, two years ago? And yes, I did back Mina the Hollower on the Kickstarter, so... I will definitely be checking that out when it releases. And we'll probably get a couple other things as well during this. So yeah, I'm just doing an offline recording. If you see this on YouTube and you're wondering, when did he stream this? I didn't. Designer at Yacht Club Games. Can you believe it? It's been 10 incredible years since Shovel Knight first graced our screens. And God, has it really been a Yacht decade since that game Let's released? Let's stroll down memory lane and celebrate the landmarks in our 10-year journey of game development. It all began with our successful Kickstarter campaign in 2013. Yes, I backed this too. Which set the stage for the release of Shovel Knight. Our love letter to classic games not only captured the hearts of players worldwide, but also paved the way for Shovel Knight to appear across all major gaming platforms. Even Our the Wii U. Exciting turn with special collaborations featuring iconic characters from faraway franchises. Nothing and from Nintendo though. I mean, Amiibos, but... We launched several new games, starting with Plague of Shadows and Spectre of Torment. Each introducing fresh gameplay. Yeah, they're definitely building up to a new Shovel Knight announcement of the like talking about like the history. I've streamed almost all of this Shovel Knight stuff. I've streamed all the bonus campaigns. We decided to explore novel genres with the dungeon crawling puzzler Shovel Knight Pocket. But I've never streamed the battle mode or whatever it's called that that was an update. I so I cannot watch today. Most recently, we ventured into an all-new world of adventure with Mina the Hollower, continuing yes. our tradition of crafting pixel-perfect games. And rest assured, I am excited for this. This horizon. game looks great. Thank you for being a part of this amazing decade. Or if you're just joining, welcome. As time has passed, we've all grown a bit older, but our commitment to you remains as strong as ever. Today, we have lots of cool news to share with you. First up, some updates for our released games. DLC pack for Hi, Shovel Knight Dig I'm or Sandy whatever Gordon, that Shovel Knight game was here, that they show in the picture games. of. If you aren't familiar with Shovel Knight Dig, here's the scoop. I haven't this played Shovel Knight Dig. Developed in collaboration with our talented friends at Nitro, is a classic adventure filled with endless digging fun. You'll tunnel through beautifully crafted, ever-changing levels, collect powerful gear, find secrets, and face off against the most formidable foes and bosses. Alongside the base game, we've been hard at work crafting not one, but two exhilarating free DLC packs. Oh, the free. Let's okay, that's cool. Look back at our first I need DLC, to Shovel Knight Dig Fate and Fortune. Yeah, I need this to pick this game up when it's on sale Knight next Hammer, because it's been out for a while now, hasn't it? Shovel Knight work together to investigate the evil brewing in the depths. On top of that, there was new music added along with numerous quality of life improvements. But that's not all we have in store for players wishing for even more content. Gold Shovel Knight. A genie? Oh. So I'm guessing a new mini campaign then. Oh. That wasn't me, I think the stream buffered. Oh, it looks pretty good. But yeah, I never played Dig, so maybe I should look into it, finally. The only Shovel Knight I've played is like, you know, the the actual Shovel Knight game. And most of the follow-up content that came out for it. Alright, well it comes out during summer, so within the next couple months. Wow, what a thrill to dive back into the depths with that incredible trailer for Shovel Knight Dig, 
Wicked Wishes. As you've just seen, this latest expansion introduces even more rip-roaring challenges, a myriad of new missions, and plenty of mischief to discover in Shovel Knight Dig. Your new adventure begins as you step into the Hoofman's Guild Hall, a secret hideout where elite quest seekers and their illustrious patrons converge. Climb the ranks within the guild by undertaking their thrilling challenges, collect powerful relics and buffs, face new bosses and enemies, and unravel the mysteries encircling the impeccably dressed horse and his top adventurer, the Guild Ark. But be careful what you wish for. Wicked consequences await you in the well. In addition to this epic quest line, we've added exciting mini-games, memento keepsakes to collect, secret locations to discover, and some brand new tunes. We've also added the finished by touches Jake on the game okay. by rebalancing the algorithm and implementing over a hundred bug fixes, tweaks, and localization improvements. This should make for a much smoother descent for all players in the well. Wicked Wishes marks the completion of Shovel Knight Dig. Now that everything is polished to perfection, if you haven't had the chance to check it out yet, now is the perfect time to dive into the depths oh, is and it enjoy on a sale? fully realized adventure. We also have oh, some fantastic means. news for all our dedicated fans. Shovel Knight Dig is coming to Xbox and PlayStation. Thank you all, all right. for your patience and unwavering support. We're beyond excited for you to delve in. It would be Next cool if it's on Game up, Pass, but I don't know if it is. And dive into the maze of the Pocket Dungeon. If yeah, I've never played this one dungeon, either. It's a delightful blend of roguelike action and fast-paced match three mechanics. Each run offers a unique challenge as players equip a treasure trove of powerful relics and items. I'm not sure if this one is my kind of game. Games. You'll take control of your favorite heroes from the Shovel Knight universe. I, I, I will say it visually looks pretty nice. And delve but, into the dungeon yeah. a variety of ways with adventure mode, two player competitive versus mode, a daily challenge and much more. In our last the music slaps, sense, though. we announced that we were going to release an expansive slate of three DLC packs. We've kept true to that promise, and we're really excited to share what we've added since then. Let's take a peek at our first DLC, the Puzzler's Pack. This initial DLC expanded Pocket Dungeon, introducing playable Puzzle Knight, the enigmatic Castle Quandry, and Refract Rep. New character-specific abilities for every character, and Mr. Hat's fancy shop filled to the brim with game-changing headpieces. But guess what? We're not stopping there. We've got a new update that can totally transform your game, the Paradox Pack. Okay. What support you see? Oh, okay. Maybe worth buying it on Steam then if I want to like do that. Oh, I can imagine some fun mods coming out of that. I saw the Triple King for a brief moment. Netflix? Wow, that Paradox Pack trailer really sets the stage for some crazy new adventures. We've added mod support exclusively for the PC version of the game. This lets players create and share their own modifications or download them from the Steam Workshop. Okay, that's good. Game. Steam Workshop integration is always good. Also join the fray. The Enchantress brings her preternatural powers into the pocket dungeon, using her dark abilities to attack in all directions at the cost of 2 HP. I will say this Chester, for anyone that's watching this, I'm not sure if this is exactly my VIP kind of game per se, anytime access to Chester chests, but I may consider out. picking it up eventually. I think I'm DLC more likely to get Dig sometime soon, brand new stages, since I've not actually looked into that one yet. Players can discover a variety of side rooms with new challenges, items, and even some familiar faces. We've also unearthed a trove of new relics and items to aid you in your quest. 
over a dozen in all. Finally, for those who love digging deeper, this DLC includes secret quests and cheat codes to take your gameplay experience to the depths of indulgence. We hope you've enjoyed solving the Pocket Dungeon's expanding mysteries, and we're excited to announce that we'll keep the fun rolling with one last epic DLC. This final free update will bring long-awaited online support. I do like that the Get DLC the is free. With friends and foes worldwide. Stay tuned. They could have easily like, charged like five, ten dollars for these, but no. Either of Shovel Knight oh, that yeah, is on sale. Okay. Don't fret. For a limited time, Shovel Knight Dig and Pocket Dungeon. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to pick up Dig now. Platforms. Fifty percent off. That's not bad. Hi, I'm Celia Schilling. I'm the marketing director at Yacht Club Games. We're pulling out all the stops to celebrate a decade of digging. We hope our next round of announcements delight you. Toast to Chivalry with a sweet t-shirt. You can pre-order yours right now on the Yacht Club Games merch store. It's available for a limited time, so delve in before it's gone. Yacht Club Games has always been about shoveling Shovel Knight into as many That's products as That's a lot of possible. merchandise. In honor of that, We've signed some the only merchandising I own for Shovel Knight is like the Shovel Knight Amiibo. We've been That's hard it. at work collaborating with Insert Coin to develop a high-quality line of apparel fitting for any kind of adventure. Did Anticipate I just fucking see Hideo Kojima ahead, production T-shirt though in that picture? To produce an array of thoughtful and fun lifestyle products. Now let's take a look at some now introducing Shovel Knight Funko Pops. Yeah. We released the Shovel Knight official design works art book containing 183 pages of behind-the-scenes concepts, key art, commentary, and collaborations. Though the version was complete at the time, there has been many additions to the Shovel Knight series since then. We're teaming up with Udon once again to release a new 10th anniversary art book, complete with 100 new pages of content and a hardcover upgrade. Yeah, that's a lot. This version adds the art from Spectre of Torment, King of Cards, Shovel Knight Showdown, Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, and Shovel Knight Dig. It will Neat. also have a 10-year look back interview. Exciting news for vinyl collectors. We're thrilled to announce that legendary artists Akira Kitamura and Hitoshi Ariga are joining forces to bring their iconic design talents to our anniversary edition vinyls cover art. This vinyl is being repressed for the first time ever. I'm not really a vinyls person, but I will admit these do In look the meantime, cool. Kitamura-san drew this art in Very nice artworks the for these things. Our friends at Fangamer are whipping up a line of familiar faves with a twist. Golden Shovel Knight sure plush. keep an eye out on their socials or their newsletter for a golden surprise coming your way soon. Hear ye, hear ye. A new plush will be making his royal debut oh, later King Knight. this year okay. thanks to our friends over at Symbiote Studios. Keep your plush throne cozy for this regal edition. Over the years, Shovel Knight hasn't just dug through his own adventures. God, I he I wish Shovel Knight was a playable too. character in Smash. With it was cool that he was a you know a, an assist, our but hero has been quite the busy night. But yeah, he's made an appearance in a bunch of stuff. Of Shovel Knight, we're excited to announce that our developer friends have brought back some of our most memorable collaborations for a limited time. Shovel Knight is returning to For Honor. For a one week re <laughs> what? That was a thing? Players what do you mean? To dig into Shovel I didn't know this. Content, each featuring ornaments, mood effects, symbols, and more. Our favorite bean shaped boys are bringing the blue burrower back for one I week. forget if I got Pick this in Fall Guys, Fall but I haven't played Fall Guys in a couple years. Did you know that it's also Brawlhalla's 10th anniversary? To nope. celebrate our double birthday bonanza, Shovel Knight is planned to be an event re-feature with a sale. We'll announce more at a later date, but we're beyond excited to party with our brawlin' buds. Alongside these cameo escapades, we're also ramping up for some real-life events. Grab your shovels and your appetite and join us at the official Shovel Knight Requiem Cafe, happening in Anaheim, California from June 15th to 30th. Dive into a deliciously themed menu. Feast of the Triple King. Inspired <laughs> treats that are sure to power up your day. Don't miss out on this epic culinary adventure. Get ready to unleash your creativity at the Global Yacht Club Game Jam. Games Game Jam this fall. Scheduled for November, this two-week extravaganza invites you to dive into a decade of digging. We're challenging you to craft anything under the sun, as long as it's for chivalry. Stay tuned for more details on how you can be a part of this thrilling challenge. I'm sure there's going to be some fun stuff to come from that. 
Keep digging and keep dreaming. Join us for a free fan event this summer at Giant Robot in sunny Los Angeles, California. God, they're, they're just like, for an exciting life panel, they're, they're just they're hammering announcement the after announcement. Calls, like there's a billion things going questions. on. And of course, celebrate chivalry. These collaborations are just the beginning for our 365 day celebration. Stay tuned throughout the year as we unearth even more surprises. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, is this game coming out this year? That's what I want to know. Like, I'm excited for Mina. This game looks fantastic. Like I said, I backed this on Kickstarter, much like I did with Shovel Knight. Some very nice, like, pixel, like, pixel art here. Cube! Well, yeah, it, lo it looks great. Good evening, boys and girls. Hello? I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting some theatrics here. I'm gonna guess it's coming out around Halloween time. Like if they're going for a spooky angle here, there must be a reason behind it. I'm saying October. Why, you see, Mina is our next game to feature classic gameplay, teeming with twists befitting of our modern era. As you peer into its soul, you will find a most potent concoction of top-down adventuring. A world besieged with mystery and horror, and smooth action gameplay at 60 frames per second. All inspired by the glory of our favorite 8-bit handheld gaming systems of yore. Together, yep. the two of you will need to master a plethora of weapons and trinkets in order to vanquish monsters and uncover the island's darkest secrets. It was more than two years past when we first unshackled the game from the burdens of secrecy, unleashing its existence upon this world by way of the crowd. Yeah, it has been two years since this was first announced. And in the years since, we have transmitted monthly updates to our bewitching backers, each describing the scores of new gameplay mechanics, enemies, weapons, and areas that we have most recently ensorcelled into existence. Even Mina has been hard at work, boning up on her battle All right. before. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a plus she can get. That's kind of silly. Days into the crystal ball, I foresee us spending the coming months balancing the gameplay, refining the script, and polishing every devilish detail. So, worry not, Travener, for you have nothing to fear. Well, that is... Not until you pick up the controller! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they're just going full ham with this, like, little bit here. I love it. Do we have a release date, or are you just gonna leave that one hanging? Okay, yeah, not not gonna tell us one yet. Okay, so maybe not Thanks this year. Update on Mina the Hollower. Now, we have an until now unannounced title that we are thrilled to present to you. Oh? New IP? Or... New Shovel Knight game? The ultimate edition of... Oh, okay, it's a updated version of Shovel Knight? Yeah, it's Shovel Knight, right? So... What is this exactly? Shovel of Hope. DX. Ah. You know, it's been a hot minute since I played this game. This might be a good excuse to get back into it again. Ah, okay.
So you can play every boss character in the original Shovel of Hope uh, campaign. That is cool. You can even play her. I forgot her name, but... Local and online multiplayer. The online better be good. Yeah, this definitely seems like an, a good excuse to return to Shovel Knight. Whoa, okay. Taking that from the 3DS version. Yep, gotta have the cheats. I'm guessing this is coming out this year to tide us over until Mina the Hollow War. Again, no release date. Shovel of Hope DX is an enhanced edition of the adventure that started it all. Embark on a quest to save Shield Knight, defeat the evil enchantress, and bring down her formidable Order of No Quarter. Shovel of Hope DX introduces an array of exciting features. Now, you can choose your champion from a lineup of 20 iconic characters, each with unique playstyles. Dive into the action with Shovel Knight, team up with Shield Knight, or even play as the Enchantress herself. Online multiplayer That's cool. allows you to can play as the final boss. Worldwide. Together, tackle the main adventure or They get to play as Battle Toads though on the Xbox version. We've also brought back fan favorite features from all previous versions of the game, including challenge stages, custom night, and the Battle Ghost Arena. And for full immersion, return to the world of Shovel Knight in full stereoscopic 3D. For the first time, use the power of Rewind to perfect your platforming skills or use save states to pause and plan your next moves. With over 300 classic gameplay twisting cheats, tons of options. To make it I like that. Or as weird as you like. All these cheats can now be enabled simultaneously, offering endless. Oh my god. Yeah, I want to play so the game like, like this. this is I'll do a full playthrough like that. Shovel Why not? It's also our way of preserving the game's historical functionality, ensuring these elements remain available for future generations of players. Oh, they, I and saw the Arby's. They've got the Arby's pro, cr cross promotional thing in here. Why? Interest. Are you Shovel kidding me? Shovel of Hope DX is a tribute to a decade of pixel perfect platforming, camaraderie, and epic adventures. Whether you're revisiting the game or joining us for the first time, Prepare for an expedition reshoveled and ready for glory. Please tell me there's a physical edition of this because so I want to buy that. Place. And if you've never bought the original, it's on discount now, so there's no better time to dive in. Before we go, we have one final announcement. A brand new mainline Shovel Knight game is Oh, in shit. We're committed to crafting an experience that not only honors the Shovel Knight legacy, but also pioneering oh, nice groundbreaking, logo. innovative gameplay mechanics. This isn't just another sequel. It's a bold new adventure that'll launch Shovel Knight into an entirely new dimension of gaming. Although we're not oh, three-dimensional, you mean? Just yet. Rest assured, this game will bring electrifying action, richer mechanics, and all the timeless charm you expect from a Shovel Knight title. Okay, they don't show and anything, but I'm excited to hear that there's a new next, one in development. You find subtle clues scattered throughout our previous games. Make sure to play Dig, Pocket Dungeon, and all the games in the treasure trove to notice the hidden details we've planted. Stay tuned, shovelers. The future of the Blue Burrower is bright. Well, that's it for today's Yacht Club Games Presents. Thank you all for being a part of our 10-year journey. Your support and enthusiasm have been the cornerstone of every game we've made. We're not done celebrating yet, so keep paying attention for even more exciting events and surprises throughout the year. We look forward to sharing more adventures with you, so see you soon. And as always, happy adventuring. Alright, that was the Yacht Club Game Presents. Yeah, they really went all out with the Shovel Knight announcements. I mean, it is the 10th anniversary, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, that was that was cool. And uh, yeah, uh, don't have much to add on top of that. I may have to pick up Dig now. Possibly, ah uh, fuck, what was the other one? Pocket Dungeon? If I get Pocket Dungeon, I'm going to get it on Steam because PC mod support. That sounds great. I'll probably get Dig on Switch.
But yeah, that was the uh, the presentation. I may pick up Deluxe for the original game, because the original game still holds up. Like, that game came out, obviously, like, ten years ago, and God, hard to believe it's been a decade since that game released originally. But yeah, nice to see all the new features. I'm guessing, like, because I didn't, you know what? I didn't quite get a good look at everything, but it seems like the deluxe version is going to be implementing every feature across every version of the game across its entire 10 year history. And I did briefly see the word Arby's in the options there, so they're including like the Arby's cross promotional thing, so you can unlock that stuff, which is fucking weird, but I'm glad they're doing that. I wonder how much they had to pay Arby's to like include that this time around, but here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that the the battle toads and the the Kratos content is included in this version. And it's like regardless of which platform you play, you'll be able to play, like play those characters or not not play them, but like fight them. Maybe you could unlock them as playable characters as well, since they said there was over twenty playable characters, so I don't know, maybe that sounds like fun. But yeah, it's not like we haven't seen you know, like Kratos on Switch or Xbox, like, you know, through Fortnite and stuff, so I could see that being a possibility. But yeah, that was neat. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Hollow Mina the Hollow World looks excellent. And uh apparently there's a new Shovel Knight game in the works and they're teasing they say that it's gonna take you to the, the next dimension, which I'm guessing is just a low key hint that oh, the third dimension, it's a 3D game. So I'm really curious to see how they're going to handle, like, assuming that I'm correct, I wonder how they're going to handle taking Shovel Knight to 3D. But yeah, we're probably still a ways off of that, I'm guessing, like, we'll likely not hear about it for at least another couple of years or so, like, it's probably still in early development. But yeah, exciting. It's The future is bright for Yacht Club and Shovel Knight. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say on that. So thank you for listening to my ramblings. And yeah, don't, don't have much more to add on top of that.